is up Division 2 Agents, this is Gamer for Life back with another Division 2 build video. This is going to be one of those requested builds I got from an agent on Xbox who has been struggling to get a backfire build together where they can have complete immunity to the bleed and also be able to have some awesome damage at the same time. I can understand when wanting to be completely immune from a certain status effect, this can have an impact on how hard your build can hit, since you will be having to sacrifice certain pieces you would normally use, and also some attributes that will need to be rolled to hazard protection. So in this video I wanted to showcase a backfire build that will give us the best of both worlds. The one thing I wanted to make sure and do is have some amazing damage coming from our chest piece and our backpack. So let's go over these items first. So you can see we do have one piece of Sokolov Concern with the brand set bonus being plus 10% SMG damage, rolled with max weapon damage, crit chance, crit damage with a max bleed mod. 12% for the expertise roll, and every piece on this build is 12% expertise and our backpack is 14%. And the talent is Intimidate. While you have bonus armor, gain one stack each second up to a max of nine. Each stack increases weapon damage by 4% to enemies within 10 meters. All stacks are lost when you have no bonus armor. Now the main reason I did not use Perfect Intimidate is because it only gives you one more stack. But the brand set bonus on the Hunter Killer Chest is Status Effect, which is basically useless on this build. So I went with the Sokolov piece here, but even though we are losing one stack from the Perfect Intimidate, which is 4% damage, we make up for it with the 10% extra damage we get from the brand set bonus on this chest piece. So we are actually gaining 6% more damage by doing this. So yeah, an extra 36% increased damage from this chest piece, and then that goes along with our backpack. It is the Memento. It gives us all three core attributes, max weapon damage, armor with a skill tier, and we do have another max bleed mod on this piece, and the talent is kill confirmed. Enemies you kill drop a trophy on death. Collecting trophies provides both a short and long term buff, the first of which scales with the number of core attributes equipped and lasts 10 seconds. 5% weapon damage, 10% bonus armor, and 5% skill efficiency. For every trophy collected, gain an additional 1% weapon damage, 1% skill efficiency, and 0.1% armor regen for 300 seconds. Maximum is 30 stacks. For anyone who is not familiar with skill efficiency, it's basically every single skill attribute in the game. So 5% of skill efficiency would be equal to 5% status effect, skill health, skill damage, skill duration, all of that beautiful stuff. And this is how we are getting our bonus armor as well for our Intimidate, is every time we pick up a trophy, we're getting that plus 10% bonus armor from all of our armor pieces. So yeah that's a lot of bonus armor every time we pick up a trophy and you can be strategic when picking up trophies to where you can keep that intimidate up for as long as possible so not only is this piece once we get the full stacks giving us 30 percent more damage 30 percent more skill health skill duration all of that stuff is helping our skills out but we're also getting that three percent armor region so we're getting some decent survivability as well all right, so our other pieces, I do have two pieces of the Seska, 10% crit chance and 10% hazard protection for the two brand set bonuses. This one is road max weapon damage, crit damage, and hazard protection. And then I have one piece of the Grupo Sombra. Now I wanted to get this piece because with my regular crit damage, I wanted to at least be over 100% crit damage. And that is what this piece helps us to do. 15% crit damage for the brand set bonus, road with max armor, hazard protection, and crit damage. And our other piece of Seska, road max armor, hazard protection, and crit chance. Then we do have one piece of Yaw gear, 10% hazard protection for the brand set bonus, road with max armor, hazard protection, crit damage with a max bleed resistance mod. And the skills we are using, I do have the shield. This is the striker ballistic shield that we get from our specialization. And we have this because 
I wanted to make sure and get as much damage as we possibly could. So you can see in the second paragraph there, in addition, the striker shield boosts the damage of the user and all allies behind them based on the number of enemies in front of the shield. In the mods that we have on this, it's plus 1% damage bonus, 5% shield health, and then plus 5% damage bonus. So those damage bonuses gets that damage bonus per enemy in front of us to 13%. So say you just have four enemies in front of you, you're getting an extra 52% damage against those enemies. That's a lot of extra damage. And this is at skill tier five because it does take in consideration the blue cores, 50% active regen, 200% shield health, 25% holster regen and plus 1.8% buff strength. And then our second skill, we do have the striker drone, which is just out there to annoy the enemies and take some of the heat off of us. This is at skill tier one, plus 20% striker damage, plus 70% health, 15% for the expertise roll, 7.2 duration, 9.7 health, and 4.8% damage for our mods. And then the star of the show is the backfire so it has some pretty decent base damage 110k the expertise is at 12 percent which is the most expertise you can get without having to use any exotic components and this is road max smg damage crit chance and damage to target out of cover and then the talent is payment in kind dealing damage to enemies adds a stack of one percent crit damage up to 200 stacks lasting 10 seconds on reload, apply a 10 second bleed to yourself, which deals 0.5% armor damage per stack. Now, obviously, we have this set up to where we are completely immune from the bleed, so that part does not apply to us. So we can take a look at the stats. You can see I am sitting at 58% crit chance. Like I mentioned, I wanted to get to at least 100% crit damage, and we did do that with 113% crit damage. 70% headshot damage and we can look at so you can see we are at 1,564,000 armor and our base hazard protection is 70% and of course those three mods gets us to that 100% bleed resistance. Okay, so I hear the argument that if you are not doing an activity where the NPCs are not tanky enough then you are wasting using the backfire because you will never get to full stacks. What I say to that is, in my opinion, anything over 100 stacks, I think the backfire has done its job because if we are consistently getting 100 to 150 stacks to go along with our already 113% crit damage, then that is already more crit damage than you can ever get on most crit builds. Plus, isn't killing the enemy the name of the game? If you're not getting to your full stacks, that means you're taking the enemies out, which is a good thing, right? I did actually get to 175 in the max 200 stacks a couple of times in my solo heroic gameplay on American History Museum, where we are shooting a lot of red and purple enemies. So it's not like you can never get to full stacks as a solo player on regular missions. Now, if you are, let's say playing in a team setting, then each additional agent on your squad is making the NPCs more and more spongy. So you can get to those full stacks a lot easier that way if you are really concerned about having those full stacks up as often as possible. Or, you know, you could just do level four control points because we know those level four control points have far more elite enemies that are definitely tankier than the ones you'll find in these regular missions. But again, that's up to you. It worked perfectly fine for me. You'll see in the gameplay. With that said, let's go ahead and look at the specialization. We are using firewall, 20% burn duration, plus 30% health on kill, your armor kit recovers 200% armor and 200% health over 10 seconds. And then the striker shield that we are using, and we already went over the benefits of that. Allies deal 10% damage to enemies that are within 10 meters of you. So if you are in a team setting, you're giving your allies even more damage. 
30% bonus armor during cover to cover moves, 50% pulse resistance, and on armor break, apply burn to enemies within 5 meters, disabled in PvP. And as always, just make sure the gun you are using is equipped on your specialization so you're getting that extra 15% increased damage. So that is the build, my friends. Hope you guys will give this one a try. It was a lot of fun to use. We got that beautiful hazard protection on it, plenty of damage on it. Was able to run through the heroic content with absolute ease. And yeah, for the person who requested this build, hope this uh, gave you a great idea. Obviously, all of these builds are just templates for anyone to tweak however you see fit to fit your own personal playstyle. But hopefully, this gave you a great idea how to put a build around the backfire. So that's gonna do it for this one, my friends. I hope everyone is doing good and staying safe out there. I have that gameplay coming up, so definitely stay tuned for that. And as always, my YouTube family, take it easy. Your goal is a collection of transcripts and notes from months of prisoner interrogations. Your information is stored on a military grade laptop, kept in the main holding area downstairs. prisoners to keep the true sons busy. You'll be looking for some kind of security terminal. The security terminal should be somewhere nearby. Look around. Active terminal detected. Sounds promising. Find it and patch eyes again. Okay, I'm in. Now to open the cells. And the cells are open. Holding area is downstairs. Get moving. The true sons seem to be in control of the holding area. The hyenas are knocking out security cameras. Pretty smart of them.
just lost the camera feed from the holding area. There was a bright flash and then static. Serious trauma detected. Just ahead. Once you find that laptop, grab it and get the hell out of there. Reinforcements headed your way. North or south side? Both. Heavier concentration to the south. All those gates sealed at one exit should be closer. Covered intel that's going to be a whole lot of help to Odessa in the short term, but to all of us in the long run. You also effectively put this hellhole out of commission. 